What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags and today my dudes we are going to be teaching you everything you need to know about the new Oxalotl mob in Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs Part 1. Alright my dudes, let's get right into this video. Now before we do, don't forget to hit that like button if you absolutely love these new Oxalotls. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash sub to become one of the dudes. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, I will be purchasing one of these Oxalotls as a pet. And uh, yeah, I will literally have one in real life because they are legal in Canada. Alright, let's get started and uh, let's teach you everything you need to know about Oxalotls in Minecraft. Well, let's start it off with the most basic facts about Oxalotls here. So, Oxalotls are basically a passive mob that can attack most other underwater mobs, and they are basically like a lizard fish in a way. So, as you guys can see here, I have all the different colorways. So, there are five different colors of Oxalotls in Minecraft. There is Lucy, which is a pink, absolutely beautiful looking Oxalotl. There is the Wild, which is a brown, very, very cute little guy, you know, check him out. There is Gold, which is the Gold Boy, the Golden Boy, you know. And then we have Cyan, which is very epic. So these first four are very common Oxalotls. And then we come up to number five, which is Blue. Blue is one of the rarest Oxalotls in the game. And you might be wondering, what makes him so rare? Well, for breeding or finding, there is only a 1 in 1200 chance you'll run into these dudes, or if you breed any of these together, uh, two and one and one, that they will actually um, come out as a blue oxalotl. Now let me grab a bucket of water here, and I'll show you this guy um, a little closer so you can kind of see what he actually looks like, because the tanks don't show justice. Uh, so here you go. This is our oxalotl buddy here. Let me grab a regular bucket and pick up the water. And yeah, so there you go. That's the blue oxalotl. Very different looking compared to the other ones, as you guys can see. But yes, as you guys can see, they look a whole lot different when they're outside the tank. Very cute and very epic. So this is the rare boy, and these are the common ones. Now, I'm not going to leave them outside the water for too long because they don't like that. They like to be in the water if they're outside of the water. Water. For up to five minutes, they will die, all right? So make sure you don't leave your oxalotl outside of the water for over five minutes. All right, another cool feature about these little oxalotls here is they can actually survive on land. So I said, if, they, if they're on land without any water supply, they will die in five minutes. They'll start to take damage. Now, they won't take damage if it's raining, unlike, you know, dolphins or squids or fish. Um, oxalotls can actually survive in the rain. So if it's raining, you're fine to release your little buddy on the ground. Now, oxalotls are very feisty creatures. They like to kill everything in sight. So we put this glow squid. Oh, okay, never mind. He's going right for that other fish. All right, so as you guys can see, he went and killed that fish. Now, it, they do have a cool, di cool down time, so they won't kill everything in sight. But they like to kill glow squids. They will kill fish, squids, glow squids, drowns, elder guardians, and guardians. So they're quite the predator in the ocean. So it says here there is a two-minute cooldown time between oxalotls killing other animals. So he just killed a fish over there. Now he'll take a two-minute break, and then he'll go back to his killing spree. Now we're going to go ahead and put a drown down beside this, and I'm going to show you guys what they actually do when they take damage. So let me turn this to normal. And let's put a drown down, and the oxalotl should see him. And yeah, okay, get ready for it. Okay, so once the oxalotl takes damage here, as you guys can see, he will play dead to recover two hearts, all right? And very epic. So they like to play dead to heal themselves. Oh, that oxalotl didn't get the best of that, uh, that drown. But as you guys can see... So they will take a little bit of damage and they will float there, act like they're dead. The drown won't be able to hurt them when they're playing dead, and then he'll go back into battle. Oxalotls have a total of seven hearts. So in total, they have 14 half hearts. And now oxalotls have an attack strength of two. So uh, they can actually do two damage per hit. So that's pretty good. As you guys can see, he just murked that drown. Very epic, little buddy. So as we can tell, they are pretty tough little guys, and as uh, long as they play dead, they will survive. Now, I taught you all about their health, taught you all about the different variants of them. Um, now you might want to know, where do you actually find these little guys? So, 
After world generation, oxalotls spawn individually below sea level Y63 in total darkness and where there is a block like stone or uh, deep slate, andesite, diorite, granite, uh, less than five bo blocks below the spawning space. All right, so I found them, they're pretty common. I've mostly found them in the oceans, go down into like, you know, the ravines in the oceans. I found a lot down there. Um, I found them in caves so far. Basically anywhere under, um, like they said, Y, what was it, Y63. So uh, just make sure you check Y63, go check out the oceans, caves, and you'll run into an oxalotl. Now oxalotls are really easy to breed. All you gotta do is get a bucket of tropical fish right here uh, from the ocean and you're good to go. So you need two buckets of tropical fish, one for each oxalotl. As you guys can see, they are attracted by the tropical fish right now as they like to come up and swim by you and follow you around. So I'm gonna give one tropical fish to you and one tropical fish to you over here. Oh, just give them a minute, there you go. And then now they should look at each other in the next five seconds, they should have a new oxalotl. Now, depending on what you breed them with is uh, how they'll come out. If you breed them randomly um, with like, let's say like a wild one with a Lucy one, it could come out random. Gold with uh, Lucy could come out random. And eventually one in 1200, you could get yourself a blue oxalotl. Now the baby oxalotl will take around 20 minutes to grow to full size. So this little guy will take 20 minutes. If you use tropical fish on them, sorry about this thunderstorm in the background, but if you feed them tropical fish buckets, it'll lower that by 10% every tropical fish you give them. Now, if you're out trying adventure and collect an oxalotl, all you gotta do is use a water bucket to collect it up. So we're gonna go down here and go find our little buddy and bring him up here. So make sure you have a bucket with water already in it. Go ahead and find yourself your oxalotl. There we go, here's a random one here. Let's grab you, Oop. and we'll bring him up on shore. Now there are only three usable items with oxalotls currently right now. There is the water bucket, the bucket of tropical fish, which makes them breed, and there is the lead. So when I place this oxalotl down, I put a lead on it, come with me. It gets a little crazy. Watch this. Yeah, it, uh, it, it does this right now. <laughs> it's uh, very interesting. It moves quite fast, honestly. It's kind of cool. They go from moving very slow outside of uh, outside of water to going really fast when you put them on a lead. I don't know if this is a bug or a glitch, but it works pretty cool. And they're very quick and agile. So <laughs> very interesting, right? It's kind of almost like they're swimming, but above land. So uh, go ahead and try to take your oxalotl out for a little uh, journey. Go take them on a walk. And if you want to get them off the lead, click them again. And then go ahead, grab your water bucket, and put them back in your water bucket. This is the best, meth best method to carry your oxalotl around. All right, so we're going to switch it up to survival mode, and we actually have two advancements that we can actually use with the oxalotls. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go catch one. This is the first advancement here. As you can see, the cutest predator. So let's pop that open and check that out there. So as you guys can see here, after tactical fishing comes catching oxalotl in a bucket, the cutest predator. So there you go. The next one here, this is the second one. Team up with an oxalotl and win a fight. The healing power of friendship. So I'm gonna spawn a drown in here in front of me and I'm going to beat it up with my oxalotl and we're gonna get power of friendship. All right, so me and my oxalotl are gonna beat this drown up. And there we go. We got monster hunter plus the healing of power, the healing power of friendship. So there we go. Uh, basically all you gotta do is team up with your oxalotl kill a drown or something else and uh yeah you'll get that advancement me and my oxalotl just arrived at an ocean monument this is the last thing i want to show you guys Ooh, thunder all right so basically oxalotls are passive towards players can be attached to leads oxalotls give regeneration one and remove mining fatigue when a player kills a mob that is in combat with an oxalotl so we're gonna go find a guardian and kill one together can you follow me sir God, these things are crazy on leads. What is he doing? Come on, come down here. I don't know if he's gonna listen. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's go find, come on, follow me. Let's go find one of these guys. So we got mining fatigue right now. Attack that boy, let's prove you can give me mining, relieve my mining fatigue. All right, so I just killed the, uh, I just killed him and we lost our mining fatigue and then there we go, we got our mining fatigue back. So it seems it does work. Um, it just takes a little bit to activate, and uh, the Oxlottle's kind of a little out of control on his lead. But there we go. Mighty Fatigue has been relieved. 
So these guys are going to be primed to bring into Ocean Monuments and raid Ocean Monuments with. So I very much recommend that. All right, my dudes, that's going to be it for this video. That is everything you need to know about Oxalotls in Minecraft. Pretty simple. Honestly, there's not much to them. Uh, they like to breed. They like to attack things. They like to eat tropical fish. And that's basically it. And they will kill anything you are battling with them. So they come in handy. They're great for ocean monuments. There is four, five different color variants. And this boy is a 1 in 1200. All right. So thank you for watching, my dudes. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial about oxalotls. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash sub. We're on the road to 50,000 subs. And if I get 50,000, we are going to purchase an oxalotl in real life. And uh, I'll make a vlog about it. Going to get it. So... Make sure to check that out, smash sub, and I'll see you dudes in the next Minecraft video. Peace out, my dudes.